Hey guys, we're back with another video and today we're going to look at something very interesting. We're looking at ZipWP. Now this is a platform that allows you to create a WordPress website using AI. We're going to explore some of these features and see how everything is done. To get started, we are going to click on sign up for free button over here. Now it brings us to this screen here. We have the option to sign up with Google in one click or we can use our email to sign up. So this decision is up to us, whichever we want, we can use Google or we can sign up with email. So let's sign up with email. Um, for this one, we have to provide our email address, first name, last name and password. So let's go ahead and do it. Okay, now we're going to click on create account button and wait for this to create our account. Now, as soon as we sign in, we are given two options over here. The first is the free account and the other one is the business account. In the free account, we get instant WordPress websites, generate three AI sites per month. So in every month, we will be able to create three WordPress websites using AI and no permanent sites, no blueprint sites and sites expire in 24 hours. So in the free account, we cannot create any permanent sites. So our sites will expire within 24 hours. But if we have the business account, which is for freelancers, agencies, organizations seeking the full power of ZipWP, with the business plan, we get instant WordPress websites. We can create 10 AI sites per day, 20 permanent sites, 10 blueprint sites, 20 gigabyte disk space, 100,000 AI credits monthly, 10 team members, white label domain, AI wireframe builder, which is a feature that's going to be available soon, and VIP support. So I'm going to choose the free plan. I just want to get started and check everything's out. So I'm going to select this plan. Okay, now a verification code was sent to our email address. So I'm going to paste in the verification code. Great, now I'm going to click on verify and continue. Okay, so we have created our account and this is the first thing that we see, which is an AI website builder overview. So I'm going to skip this and check everything out myself. So I have a dashboard over here. It's a beautiful dashboard over here. I can see my name. There's the usage. There's the notification bar and there's the support icon in case we want to contact the support team. And here it says how many sites I have. Currently, I have zero sites. Uh, it says zero out of three, so I can create three sites and disk space is zero out of one gigabyte. So for the free account, I have only one gigabyte available. I can invite my team members using this option. And here I have the option to create a site. And here's the integration, which is the WordPress plugin, Google Chrome extension, and refer your friends and get more free sites. So this is basically the dashboard. Here's a create new button. If I click over here, this is going to give me the option to create a blank website or a complete website. Let's explore a few more of these options, okay? Let's click on this all sites over here. So basically here, it's empty. We don't have any sites right now, but when we create multiple sites, they'll all be added in this section. In the projects tab, let's click over here. There are no projects. We can add projects over here. And blueprints, of course, with our free account, we cannot create any blueprints. Now here are three options over here. Create blank site build site with AI, custom site with AI. So we have three options over here. Here we have the option to create a website from blank. So if I click over here, it's going to ask me for a site label, create a new blank website. Another option is build site with AI. Now this is the option that we're all interested in. I mean, how we can build a site with an AI. And third option is the custom site with AI. So this feature is available in the business plan, so we cannot use it since we're using the free plan. So let's go ahead and see how we can build a WordPress site with AI. Let's select this option. And we have six steps over here. Let's go ahead one by one and see how we can create a site. First, we have to give a name to our site. So I'm going to call my business Digital Pulse Marketing. And the next field it's asking for this website is for. So if I click over here, I will be given a list of options. Agency, restaurant, entrepreneur, event, nonprofit, local business, gym, spa, SaaS, dentist. So there are a list of options. I can also type my own. I'm going to select agency and I will also be able to select the language. So I'm going to select English. And now let's click on the continue button. And over here, please describe digital pulse marketing in a few words. Please be as descriptive as you can. Share details such as services, 
products, goals, etc. So we have to be very descriptive. So let's go ahead and add our own description, okay? All right, so I've written a little bit of text over here. We also have the option to improve using AI. So let's click over here and see. Okay, so this is improved. If we go back, this was our original description. And here, this is the improved one, okay? So I'm going to choose this one and click on the continue button. Here, it's asking for our email address, phone number, and address. So I'm going to put in email address, phone number, and address, okay? Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, again, we have the option to add in the social media. We can click on social media and add in our URL. We're not going to add any social media links. Now let's click on the continue button. And over here, we have the option to choose some images for our website. So let's go ahead and select some images. Okay, so I've selected 20 images from over here. And after this, we can click on continue again and move on to the next step. And now it's asking us to choose a design for our site. So there are a lot of designs over here. You can see so many options. To better look at a design, you can hover your mouse over one and it's going to scroll down and show you how it looks. Okay, the option three website is really good. So I'm gonna click over here. And here it says this is just a sneak peek, the actual website and its content will be created in the next step. So this is the website that we're going to create. Here we have the option to upload our site logo over here. Currently, this is what I'm getting. Again, I can change the font family over here. So there are a lot of fonts over here. If I click on it, it will be changed in real time. So I can pick any font I want. I think the default font was good, so I'm going to select this one. We can also choose any color palette we want. You can see there are so many options. As soon as you click on it, it changes immediately. You can see there's also dark theme over here and light theme over here. So you can choose any one you wish. Okay, I'm going with the default one. Now let's click on continue. Now we have the option to include some features. So it's offering some features such as the donations, collect donations, online from your website, sales funnels, boost your sales and maximize your profit, free live chat, automation and integration, automate your website and tasks, and video player. So we can choose any of these we wish. Um, I think I want the free live chat. Let's select it. And now let's click on start building. And it says, congratulations, you're almost there. Before we hit the final button, let's quickly double check everything. So here we can check everything out, the name of the business, the business description. We can click on the show more button to read everything and the contact information. So after this, we're going to click on start building the website and wait for the magic to happen. And here you can see our website has been created. We have the login credentials over here. So we can copy this login credentials and place it somewhere safe. And now let's click on customize website. All right, we have been redirected to our WordPress admin dashboard. Here we can see there's a message over here. Need more time. You are currently using our free plan to ensure uninterrupted access to this site without any expiration. Please upgrade your account. So here it says our site will expire in 23 hours, 57 minutes. So one day. And here there's the option to log in and there's another option move to host. So if I click over here at this point, please note if you build any site on ZipWP, these sites are hosted on ZipWP server. Again, if you're building a temporary ZipWP site, it will expire after a certain period of time. So to get this site on your own server accessible via a custom domain name, you need to move this site to your live server. Also, you need to attach your domain to it. Then people can easily access your production site. Here you can see ZipWP offers a tutorial regarding this. So you can learn this process easily. Also, we have a general WordPress server transfer tutorial, which you can find in this video's description. You'll find that useful as well. Okay, this is very nice. Now, what about this site? Let's take a look at this site first. So I'm going to visit my site. And here is our site. How awesome it looks. It has these buttons over here, texts and images, client stories. Amazing. Let's take a look at the other pages, the about page. 
and here it is fantastic and the offerings alright it's very nice so we have all these pages created for us using AI now let's get back to the dashboard and let's search for other options here is the 3CX live chat because we chose this feature okay so we can have live chat available for our website and here's Astra theme and we can see that we're using Astra theme because Astra is installed over here and here's our pages if I click over here all our pages are over here it's looking really nice all right let's actually try to customize our website and see everything so let's click on visit site and let's click on the customize button and over here we have a bunch of options global header builder breadcrumb blog page sidebar footer builder menus widgets home page settings and additional css so if i click on global i have the option to change the typography over here here's the base font the heading fonts the h1 h2 h3 all the fonts i can change now let's get back and here's the colors so there are a lot of colors over here style 2 i can select style 3 I can choose any style I want. I can also choose the individual colors to change the overall colors of our website. So let's get back and here's the container. So basically I can choose and customize my entire website from here. Okay. And this is the header builder. Here we can see this is the header. And if we click on the header builder, this header builder will pop out with the top row, middle row, and the bottom row. Currently, we have elements on the middle row. We can simply drag and drop stuff over here, and it will appear over here. So we have tutorials on these topics, how you can use header and footer builders to build your headers and footers. So if we want to further customize our site, it's actually very simple, as I can see. If I want to upload a logo, I can hover my mouse over here and click on this small pencil icon. It will directly lead me to this section where I can click over here and choose a logo for our site. If we go to the media library, there's a bunch of images. I can also upload a logo from my computer. It's also said maximum upload file size is 60 MB. Suggested image dimensions 180 by 60 pixels. That's for the logo. We also can choose the logo width, title, title visibility, and other options. So let's get back and I guess that's enough about the customization tab. Okay, let's exit. Now, what about customizing the page? So I'm going to click on edit page and see how we can customize or edit each section of this site. Okay, so let's close it up. Here I can see that we're using the Gutenberg page builder and using Gutenberg we can easily edit the text, images and other contents of our web page. Now let's take a look at this heading text over here here ignite your online success i can write whatever i want okay and i can also choose a button over here i can change the text of the button and over here i will be able to access the different customization settings of this button here's the icon if i want i can enable the icon over here I can also change the title so there are all of these options over here i can also change the image currently we have this image and if I click over here, I have the option to change this image from here or I can click on this replace button and I can upload a new image or open up a media library and select any image from here. I can click on this. Okay, so our image has changed. That is really amazing. I can also choose the alignment, layout, image size, image dimension. So all the customization options are over here for me to choose from and customize my entire site the way I see fit. Excellent. Now over here I also have an option that says AI Assistant. So if I click over here, the AI Assistant can help me on any topic I want. You can see it's already prompting some options over here. Write an attractive heading about something. Paste from clipboard. Write a subheading for something. So these are basically hints on what the AI Assistant can help us with. So let's close it up. So after we change everything, we have to click on this update page button and the changes will be saved. So let's get back and view our site. I can see everything is looking great. Another interesting thing is if I go back to the dashboard over here, I still have access to this AI assistant. I can use the AI assistant over in this dashboard as well. So this is really, really amazing. Okay, so let's close it up. Now let's try to do something else. Let's see if we can create 
a new page. So let's go to the pages section. Here you can see we have these five pages about blog, contact, home and offerings. To create a new page, we can simply click on this add new page button from here. And it's going to bring me to this section. I can add a page title. So I want a portfolio page. This is the page title. And if you don't want your page title to appear, you can simply click on over here. So the page title will be invisible. And then I can add Gutenberg blocks and build my site. So here's the Gutenberg block. I can add in headings. I can also add in um, images. So if I click over here, I can also add an image. Using all this method, I can design my page or I can also use the design library over here and create any section I want. Okay, you can see there are so many patterns. You can also create full pages and you can see we have the ability to generate content for pages, but it requires 5,000 credits. We don't have that, so I'm not going to be able to do it. So over here, you can choose what type of section you want. If you want a contact form, it's over here. If you want a page header, it's over here. And here, since we want a portfolio, we can select this one. And here are a bunch of these designs. You can see there are so many amazing designs. We can choose any one we wish and start building on that. We can also use AI to personalize these templates, but of course that will cost us credits. We can also uh, choose the color styles over here. So there will be different colors. So we can choose any design we wish. Let's go ahead and um, click on this one. Let's choose this. Now we have a section for our portfolio. So let's delete this section. And now we can choose any images for this. So let's uh, click over here and let's click on style. I can change the image if I click over here. I can choose any uh, image I want. So let's select this image. I can choose this one, branding, identity and revamp. If I click over here and choose this one, I can choose any images I want. So once I'm done, I can click on publish and the page will be published. Now let's get back and let's take a look at our page. Okay, so the page isn't appearing over here. Let's actually customize our menu. To do that, we're going to go to appearance and menus. And over here, there's the portfolio. I'm going to add it to the menu. Okay, so I'm going to drag it and drop it over here. And now let's save. Now let's visit our page and here's portfolio. So let's click on it and there it is. And you can see it was so easy to create this entire website. It only took a few minutes and this entire website is ready. But we do have to spend some time editing the text images of the website. And we also have to put in the links to the buttons and customize the other things of the website. But the majority of our work is done since we have a ready to use site we have all the pages and all of those are responsive. So that is amazing actually. So let's log out and let's visit our profile now. Okay, back in our profile, you can see we have one of three websites, 0.14 gigabytes of one gigabyte has been already used. Now, if I click on the all sites, here you can see our site has appeared over here, the name of the site and the WP admin. So if I click over here, it's going to lead me to the WP admin page where I can log into my site. And here's the time for the site because within this time, our site will expire. We can also add this to project. So if I click over here, I can create new project and I can name my project agency site. So let's create project. And now you can see there's a badge over here that says agency sites. So if I click over in projects, here's the project. Currently, I have only one project. So let's click on it. And here's our project. So that is basically how we can use AI to create a WordPress website within a minute using ZipWP. So ZipWP is really impressive. We actually loved using this and we are looking forward to how much more they can improve. So let us know what you think about ZipWP in the comment section. If you like it, share your thoughts about this platform. So that's about it for this video. We hope you loved watching this video. If you did, give this video a like and subscribe to our channel for more helpful videos on WordPress. So see you in the next time. Thank you for watching. Take care.